Hi y'all, today I'm going to walk you through how to paint this cute robot. I've got all the supplies I need, including a large brush, a medium brush, a small brush, a cup of water to rinse my brushes, a napkin, my paper plate, and all my paint colors. I'm using white, black, red, yellow, and blue. As we go through this video, whenever you see the blue and pink arrows, remember that's where you can stop and pause the video and catch up. To start, I'm going to paint my entire canvas with a thin layer of white paint. I'm going to grab my large paintbrush, dip it in a bit of water, and mix it into my white paint. You only need a little bit because we want to do just a nice thin layer. Don't worry about covering up the lines of the robot. You'll still be able to see them through the paint. My white paint is getting a little thick in some areas, so I'm adding a bit of water to help thin it out. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna rinse my brush and I'm gonna let this layer dry for a little bit. Now my thin layer of white paint is dry, I'm gonna start working on the background. I think I wanna make it like a light blue color. So here in the middle of my plate, I'm gonna add a little bit of white paint and I'm gonna mix in just a little bit of blue. Now my paint's a little thick, add a little bit of water and maybe a little bit more. That's looking pretty good. All right. So I like to start by going right up against the edge of my robot. Just small strokes, just being really careful. If you go over the lines of the robot, it's totally okay. You can paint right over it. I'm gonna turn my brush to the side and that'll help me get in those thinner areas. I'm gonna speed things up for just a second and we'll meet back up when I finish the background. So now I'm just going back in with my smaller brush and getting in those tiny little areas that I couldn't quite reach with my large brush. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna rinse out my brush and dry it on my napkin. And I think next we're gonna move on to painting the robot's body. To paint the robot's body, I need to make some gray. So I'm gonna grab my medium brush, pick up a little bit of white, just place it right over here. And I'm gonna grab just the tiniest bit of black right on the end of my paintbrush. Maybe not that much, there we go. And just start mixing that all together. I want a nice medium gray, not too light, not too dark. Great, let's get started on his body. I'm gonna start here on the leg. I like to
like to start by painting the outline. That way I can get the difficult part over first. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Okay, now that I'm done with the robot's legs, I'm going to move on to the main part of his body. And just like before, I'm going to start on the outside edges and work my way to the inside. Now that I'm done with his body, I'm going to move on and paint his arms and his head. I want to add a little bit of depth and dimension, so I'm going to mix in just a little bit more black into this gray so I can create some shadows. I want to add a dark gray line right here where the top of his boots are, and a dark gray line on the underside of his boots. Next, I'm going to go in and draw those rectangles in the middle of his legs. Now I'm going to add a little shadow here just on the underside of his, the main part of his body. And just a little line here on his arms to help with the definition of where all of those joints are. Now I'm going to do the big control panel on his stomach. I'm going to add a little shadow here underneath his gauges and a shadow under his chin. I'm going to give him eyebrows and a nose and just add a few more details to the arms. I think my shadows look pretty good. Next, I'm going to move on to his lights and gauges. With my tiny brush, I'm going to grab a little bit of yellow and put it right here on my plate. And I'm going to add a little bit of red. I want to make a nice bright orange. That looks pretty good to me. I think I'm going to start up here on his eyes. So just very carefully drawing little small circles where his eyes would be. And I'm going to use the orange right here on these lights on his chest. With my small brush, I'm going to grab some of this yellow paint. And I'm adding just a little bit of water because so I want to thin it out because it's kind of kind of thick. That looks good. Now I'm going to go in here and paint this big light on his chest. I'm 
I'm going to clean off my brush and dry it off on my napkin. Now I'm going to work on the big arched gauge in the center of his chest. So I'm going to grab a little bit of red and thin it out with some water. I'm going to start by drawing a line diagonally up through the arched gauge. I like to think of this as maybe this is his fuel and you need to know when he's close to empty. I want to go in and add some highlights now that my gray paint is pretty dry. So I'm going to take some of the gray I mixed up before, add a little bit of white, and go around and add some highlights to where, well, where light would hit him. Now with my small brush, I'm going to add a little bit of water to some black paint just to make it nice and smooth, and I'm going to do some outlines. You know what? I should paint the other side of this arched gauge. One side's red, so the other side should be green. On my plate, I'm gonna mix a bit of yellow and blue together and that will make green. Now I'm just gonna fill in the other side of this arched gauge with my green paint. Well, that looks better. Now I'm gonna dip my small brush into the water and grab some black paint and get back to doing my outlines. Before I get to my outlines, I guess I should paint his mouth. Now that my outlines are done, I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of white with my small brush and just add a few tiny little highlights. But first, I'm gonna use my tiny brush and white paint 
to paint in a zigzag line for his mouth. All right, I think I'm all done with my robot, but it looks like I got some black paint on my background. So I'm gonna go back in with some blue paint and just cover that up. Well, that was so much fun. I had a great time painting this robot and I hope that you did too. I'll see you all next time.